Hello my warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of rogue tech for today. Guys, we're gonna play some more missions today because I wanna get some more stuff. And uh, as soon as I have outfitted my mechs in a way where I'm comfortable with it, we can then go to a higher scale territory to find more medium mechs. At the moment I'm kind of farming the low scale missions, but that's to be expected until we have some more experience on our mech warriors and until we have some better equipment for our light and medium mechs here. We can go for higher piloting on Mr. Swipe here, which I really appreciate. That's really cool. As soon as we have Ace Pilot on the guys, it's gonna be really nice. And I can actually get it on Omega already. Hell yeah. Let's do it. That is the first Ace Pilot. We also have it on Ice Tray. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I can see already. We are getting there. So, what about Decker? Decker still needs the higher tactics here, the tactician. And then we can finally go for higher piloting. It's also gonna help a lot. We can get a better weapon hit here. I mean, he's shooting sometimes, but not all the time. No, no, no. You know what? We're gonna drop on the next mission right away. So, what's it gonna be? It's gonna be an assassination. Because ooh, we have last max standing here. Nice. Repossession, deniable destruction. There's a battle. One skull. Oh, yeah. That thing gives us also a good amount of money. Hmm. One skull. Do we take the money here? It could be. I mean, this is just half a skull for... Let's, you know what? We're gonna go for the money here. Uh, completely? Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. We're gonna go for the money here completely. And then we're gonna play the other one. Or the salvage. Or the money. Depending on how damage we come out of this year. So, let's go. Last time... I uh, put a retractable blade into my hatchet man and that should give us even better not only melee damage but also melee accuracy. So with all of the melee parts already the hatchet man is sitting in a good spot. All we need for it right now is um, better jump jets. I want more directional jump jets so that we can do death from above a bit more often. And I want the death from above uh, leg damage and damage uh, reduction mods. Those are really good. As well as something like a big energy weapon. Something like a plasma cannon. Something like a pulse laser. Large pulse laser. Something like a snap nose PPC. An ER PPC. Anything that helps us getting um, some early upfront damage out. And uh, uses up an energy hard point. So let's see if we can find something like that. But again. We will see about that. Sometimes there will be something on the battlefield that is more important. Ooh. Ooh, this map. Alrighty. Let's go. Jump and brace. That's what we do. Omega bringing his uh, new Clint build online. Yeah, SRM PA laser, SRM 6 medium laser. That's the thing. And the tag. I don't like that we are playing in the night, by the way. It's a little bit of a problem. And that's because we need vision in order to punch the people. That's just it. Okay, there's an urban mech. I have the feeling that he doesn't see us yet. Yet. Not yet. Receiving you. Alrighty, Irby. Let's go. Yes, Commander. Uh I cannot bring my PA lasers online here. Now I could. Actually. Confirmed. Let's do it. Let's shoot everything. I'm pretty happy to see that. Oh, it's a rocket launcher urban mech. <laughs> No, thank you. We have to kill him right now. Uh, I'm pretty happy to see that they are in very bad condition, though. So, yeah, there's that. Lagging him? Or trying to lag him? Oh, come on. Please knock him on the ground. Or destroy his arms or anything. There's another one. An R666. Oh, crap. It is so funny that urban mechs in this game are actually quite scary. Or in this... Uh, Mod. But okay, this guy is defeated. He was just having a lot of rocket launchers. This mech is made for completely ruin your day. Just once. Just taking out one of your mechs. Or just giving you a huge repair cost. This is just made for messing with you. I don't like it. But hey, we have him down and it's good. I think I'm gonna play it aggressive here, right? Wait, let the Raven come closer. Let him come closer. Maybe we can punch him with our hatchet man. 
Okay. Oh, that's good. Our Klinda is actually very evasive and in cover, which helps a lot. Commander? Hmm. We could punch him. For 32 damage. Shooting him is not giving us so much, right? Actually, I think an, a melee attack is the way to go about it here. Move into position. Yep. Structure is exposed. We have him with one less initiative and I completely forgot that we have the power, armor, SRMs and lasers that we can use in melee. I hear you. Of course. Of course, of course, of course. Um... Yeah, sure. We'll we'll keep up with the damage. That's what we do. Alrighty. What's up, boss? Uh, what is up? You say? Hmm. I want you to kill. Can we do that? Engaging from the side, of course, because that gives us a higher hit chance. And that is a raven down. Okay, 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 okay. That is the Urban Make R666, and it has the uh, Devil's AC20 that has a huge damage variation. It deals 66 damage base and has a plus and min a plus or minus 66 damage variation. So it can deal up to 132 damage or nothing, or anything in between. And um, we have to destroy him quickly, very, very quickly. Oh uh, yeah, let's go. That was a smart move going into the mineral field. It makes, it makes it really hard for us to get him out there. No joy. At least with shooting. Need something, Chief? I need something, yeah. Let's do it like that. On my way. Actually, the Clint should be... Hmm, maybe one of my next melee mechs. I mean, look at that. That's pretty cool with all of the power armor weapons. Kind of works. Ah, but now the big guy comes. The one that can do it, hopefully, 60% chance, and we cut his right side off, great. So, Devil's AC20 down. Waiting on you, Commander. Okie dokie, we'll go for the kill. There is nothing that we want of that mission here at all, so it's fine if he punches out like that. That was pretty easy. That was pretty good money, actually. We didn't get hit. At all. Like, at all. And we got 200,000, 250,000 Siebels out of that. That is pretty good. I mean, yeah, we got a bit of a drop cost, so I think we, are, we will settle at about 200,000 in the end. But still, I like it. I really do. That was good. And we got a rocket launcher 20. I was hoping that we could get a part of an urban mech here. Or maybe the raven. Oh my god. We got two raven parts. We didn't get one additional one. Uh, it's fine. We were coming for the money and we got it. And that's important. Trying to get closer to the next uh, financial report. And at some point, I think when we have um, done all of the half skull and one skull missions, we have to actually travel to another planet. Uh, because I don't know if I can take one and a half skulls already. Maybe. Actually, with the hatchet man, it should be possible. Yeah, we're gonna stay on this planet for a little bit longer. Yeah. But hey, we're gonna go with the easy ones first, because they give, give us money, they give us a baseline of equipment, and uh, with that, we're gonna make our mechs better, so that we can uh, get the higher challenges, we can get the higher skull missions, in order to get the better mechs as a re result. Well, one day, 396 sea bills. I'm gonna pay that from my pocket money. Ha! Ah. Cool. Anything that I want to rebuild while we are waiting for the guys to come out of fatigue? Um, I don't have anything. I, I, maybe, maybe, maybe. Those small lasers here, they don't do anything for me. Um, Question. What do we do? The smalls, they need to get out of here. I can put a regular medium instead into the mech. I guess, yeah. Why the hell not? I think this is more consistent now. Okay, cool. I'm gonna invest the two days and 2,000 C builds. Again, the hatchet man... <laughs> it's real rough. We, we don't have the hard points to, to give him something good. I could put a machine gun in there. Uh, no, I sold it. <laughs> not possible. 
Ear mediums, ear mediums, ear mediums. Yeah, that's it. Retractable blade there. There's nothing I can really put in the mech. Apart from uh, the AC5, of course, but I don't want to. Light sensor. Oh, it's just it. I could plug out the XL gyro. Put it into another mech. Yeah. Since I cannot do anything with the mech here and I'm all under tonnage anyway. Uh, this guy has no XL gyro. But I also has nothing, have nothing to put in the mech anymore. The Clint, maybe. The Clint could use all the help it can get. Give me a second. We still have one support hardpoint here. Okay. Oh, he's running double XL already. Uh, never mind. But I'm just thinking about putting another PA laser into the mech coming from... Yeah, that's how we do it. That's exactly how we do it. Ha! Huh. Should have... Yeah, should have thought about that way earlier. Let's go. Uziel. Here's what we do. Uziel is running two PA lasers. We're gonna take him out. And we're gonna put the tag in here. I know it's a bit of mixing and matching and, and throwing things around. But those two PA lasers can absolutely go into the Clint. And um, we're gonna use them as a... As another... Hybrid build, I would say. Now with the PA lasers, it can punch reliably. Heat management is a bit of a problem, I know. But still, we'll go with that. Yeah. Okie dokie, that's gonna be our Clint. The Hatchet Man. In the meantime, I don't want to spend too much time, that's the thing. Uh, we could upgrade the armor a little bit. I can uh, afford two more days of repairs. Back armor is needed. Okay. Days still. Now we have three days. Um, can we afford it? Shall we afford it? Yeah, I want to. Let's go for 50 back armor here. So we have four more days. Yeah, I think this is going to be fine. Now we should come out of this in six days. No. It's more than that. Uh, but it's fine. Let's see. That. 3, 2, 1. Clint is ready in one day. Hatchet Man is ready in two days. Actually, it worked out perfectly here. So we didn't lose any time, which was the most important part about this. Okay. Now, we're going to take a look at the contracts and we're going to play the next mission. Escaping Spy. This could be an interesting mission because we will find uh, an assassination target that is of high value. Although it might be a light mech, it might be filled with uh, lots of countermeasures, electronic countermeasures, uh, an XL engine, good weapon systems, good equipment. And I actually want to play that. Sure, let's do it. Yeah. We're playing against Comstar. We go with a full salvage here. And we go with our good old people. Alrighty. Also, now that I have Ace Pilot, I gotta remember that. I have to internalize that I could use it when available. Shooting first, having a higher, um, just higher uh, accuracy, and then moving afterwards so that I get the evasion on my mechs. So, hope that I can remember that. Okay. Also, wait, there is one mech that is still not running stealth, right? Or uh, ECM. The Clint has one now. Thanks to the sheath beacon. The hatchet man has one as well. The Uziel has one as well. What about the blackjack? Is blackjack running um, ECM already? I might have considered that instead of the medium laser. Damn it. I just forgot it. I forgot to consider it. It's not a big deal. I mean, maybe it has one already. Maybe it doesn't. It is a second liner anyway, so I think it's not getting shot so often. But yeah, let's see. We are playing... Assassination. Half skull only, but I really hope that we got a good target that we can try to kill. Oh, it's that map. I don't like it at all. Also, we are playing in the night. Which uh, is a problem with our vision again. Right, here's swipe. 
All right, we are braced. Do we wait? Standing by. Oh, Decker is Decker is gonna do that anyway. And it is a raven. All right, I was hoping for it. I was actually hoping that we get a raven so that we can fulfill uh, or fill yeah, yeah. fill our raven that we have already with more raven parts. Um, so. 27 or 22 okay interesting oh it's 27 still okay we have also a good hit chance on attack 39 percent primary target damage commander okay so far so good what about this oh no you are the Clint you need to move you need to run in there Roger. got 13 percent. It's just not much, but honestly, I'm pretty happy that we... Oh, another raven. Uh, that we hit our PA lasers. Spider, Kabuto. Kabutos are actually quite scary, as we learned earlier. Ah, okay. We're just spamming him to death. That is my plan here. Mm-hmm. Decker cannot get into melee range already. You know what? We're gonna put him on the right side. Trying to intercept those people here. Let's do it. I copy. Oh! That is a critical on the wasp already. A critical hit. That's good. Raven coming close now. Yeah, we're gonna shoot the Raven to smithereens and then try to uh, mob up the rest of them. What can I do for you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Say hello to Swipe. Nice, we have him tagged. Commander? It's gonna help. Can I get any closer? Oh yeah. Let's move. Let's do it like that. Roger that. And again, I'm just here for the spam. Try to get the most out of my multiple weapon systems. And the hatchet man is gonna hatchet everybody on the right side. If possible. Wow, that was a good shot with the... What was that? Medium? Large? I don't know. Okay, I wanna get closer and now I think I'm in a good range bracket to fire my ACs as well as the medium lasers. Cool. Yeah, you won't bug out anywhere. That's not possible. I should have jumped to the side, honestly. Would have given us a better hit chance. Okay, Vigilance. Alright, he's uh, crit. For orders. And since we have Ace Pilot now, we're gonna shoot. <laughs> okay. Okay. Goodbye, Raven, and then move afterwards. Let's focus completely on the right side before we go over here to the left. Uh, yeah. How? Where? Why? Move order received. Cool. We are in the water. That enables us to shoot alpha strikes all the time now. That's really good. Kabuto? Wow. Nice shot. I think he was shooting four SRMs and all of them hit. And there comes the spider. What's the spider? 5D. Wait, 5D is... Question. I think that was the one with the flamer, right? Yep. Okay. Waiting on you, Commander. Mm, Forty-six. That's better. You betcha. Firing everything I've got. Ah, and we have a head hit. Oh, this is really good. That guy is not gonna do that much anymore. Not only has he lower hit chance on his weapon systems, but also the lower initiative is gonna help a lot. <laughs> Decker on pursuit. Let's go, Dak. Our death from above chance is what? 23%. Nah, I'm not doing it. I'm just not doing it. Uh, let's do it like this here. By the way, I, I made a wrong decision with the laser in the last round. I should shoot my arm lasers all the time because they have a higher hit chance. And the ear medium on the torso is a little bit lower. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Structure exposed. Perfect. Uh, yeah, Omega. Are you going back? 
Are you going forth? I think I want a spider off the field. Yeah, not good enough. But let's see. Uh, swipe should be able to kill the spider before it does something. What can I do for you? And I'm gonna do a stand and shoot because I'm confident. He doesn't have ace pilot yet. Oh. There's more where that came from. Okay. Waiting for orders. Okay. I guess I have to intercept here. Yep. All right. Can you finish the job, Mr. Ice Tray? Yes, you can. All right. So. It was a bit of a risky move down there. I mean, at the same time, the spider didn't have big weaponry. It wasn't able to get serious damage on my swipe. So, it, it was fine. And that's an emergency shutdown. Huh. Good to go. Sadly, we don't have, we don't have accuracy yet. Yeah, the headshot accuracy that we need. 6.3%. Let's see. No, 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 no. That, oh, actually, we have a hat hit. <laughs> okay. So, how many parts do we get here? A second. Uh, I want... No, no, no. I want this spot. Let's try another headshot. Okay. SRM LK crit. Shoulder destroyed. He's stressed. Do I go for him? Do I punch him now? The Raven is not bothering me in this round anymore. Next round. Uh, this round he will just start up again. That's the thing. Let's shoot the Kabuto a bit. Maybe we can actually kill him by getting more headshots online. This Kabuto is so accurate. It's crazy. Alright. More headshots, please. Yeah, I don't think that we get it. I mean... If we knock him down next round, then we have more mech parts. But now he is... Uh, no, he's still unsteady. Okay, okay, okay. We'll get there, guys. Kabuto. See, the Kabuto has, um, has an XL engine. I want that. So, there's a very slim chance that we hit the head. Let's see. Oh, maybe we hit... Like, everything. <laughs> Alrighty. I think my lance is in a good state already. I think we can potentially go for it. Uh, that's gonna be a kill if I shoot now. Roger that. Firing on target. Uh, he didn't shoot his streaks. That was weird. Alright. Give me... Give me just the PA lasers. Knock him! Oh, punch out! That's perfectly fine for me. Alright, that's more Raven parts for us, guys. Ravens are good. Ravens are nice mechs. Cool. So, I would say pretty easy. We gotta go into higher skull territory now. We'll do it. One skull and higher. I think the low skull missions, they are nice for farming, but uh, we need better stuff. We need bigger mechs. We need... Oh, huh, yeah. Maybe something like lights and mediums. Combination of both in the mission. That would be nice. So Hatchet Man got a bit of damage actually. The Kabuto was uh, hurting me a lot. And... Yeah. What do we take? We'll take the Raven here. I mean, that's just money for us. That's really good. He has a large laser that I was talking about. Plus 50... Wow, plus 50 range. Okay. What else? Beagle comes, uh, fire control system missile, guardian, double heat sink. Oh, do we take it? And there's one. Hatchwork three, recon sensor, stealth, and a narc beacon. This is interesting. Uh, it's interesting because we have. Give me a second. One, two, three, four more mech parts for Raven. Ah, we'll take the. We could either take the large laser, which helps us building something with the hatchet man right now, giving us something that we can shoot at the enemies while we are running to the front line like a madman, or we take the double heat sink, which will help us later. I'll take the heat sink, it's a very valuable item for me. Okay. 
Uh, one, two X part only, sadly. Uh, we have the spider, we have the wasp, we have a small laser. Oh, God, really? A lot of regular heat sinks. <laughs> and our double heat sink that we got. All right. It's fair. It's okay. We got a new raven, guys. And do I want the raven in my lands? No, I don't think so. That thing is just a scrap candidate. And I, I just hope that we get the XL engine out of that thing. My Clint needs that thing, the, the XL engine, so that we can put more stuff into the Clint and uh, help him out a little bit with, uh, yeah, damage mostly. It's just mostly damage that we need there. Hey, but that was good. That was a good outcome. Uh, we got to play another mission, by the way, because we are still, what, 25 minutes into the video? There is still some more time, and um, I'm aiming... By the way, if you're wondering how my how my schedule uh, aim is, it's between 45 minutes and an hour video. Something in between. So, you can expect that from me every day. Alrighty. 6,700 sea builds. Easy. And four days of repairs. I like it. Now, let's take a look at our new beautiful Raven. Oh, look at that! Double heatsink kit! Oh, so good! So good! That's exactly what we need right now. Oh, an ear medium laser magna. Magna is... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Increased damage, increased heat. Yes, thank you. Oh, I'm super happy about the double heat sink kit as well as the fusion core, as well as the stealth armor. Uh, the problem is, of course, the engine destroyed. But hey, hey, what can what can you expect here? That's that's a huge upgrade. Uh, for which mech though? Probably for the Clint. But we also get 200,000 sea bills out of it. Hell yeah. And with the double heatsink kit, uh, as well as the double heatsink that we got now, we can actually build it. Okay. Sorry for that. I need to cuff. Here we go. Kit installed. We'll drop all of those here, the single heatsinks. That makes the mechs, mechs just so much better now. Four more taunts that we can use. Um, that means... Uh, okay, we have that missile system already. God, if I had a big missile system available, I would definitely use that right now. Hmm. What do we take? What do we take? I'm sweet, we have that already. ECM, Gyro XL, no thank you. Okay, we have Ferrofibrous. I think stealth would be a nice idea. Yep. That helps. And, uh... And, 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 and... Oh, we could bring back an auto cannon. Not really. How many energy hard points do we have still? There are two in here. Okay. That works. There's another medium laser that we added now. And technically what I need to do now is just adding armor. And we have a build again. I guess that's what we do here. Two ballistic, one ballistic, one ballistic. Yeah, that's just it. Just add some armor. Let's go to 50 in the back. Because I'm actually afraid of backstabs. Okay, that's gonna help. Um, Let's go for like 75 on the legs. 60 on the arms. Because we don't want to lose them. Oh god, it's another 9 days. But hey, we have enough money, thanks to the raven that we could scrap. We have enough money for the next financial report. So let's make the mech better. Bring it to 85 on the sides and center. And I think this is how we do it here. Absolutely. Double heat sink. Hell yeah. Perfect heat. We added another medium laser. And the Clint now actually becomes really good. Okay. So oh, let's wait a little longer and then we're gonna play another mission that is, you know, a little bit higher skull. There was a battle, I think. Mm, a battle that provided a lot of money and uh, salvage. Let's see, lying wages. Um, we're gonna debate the... Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Never mind. The Decker value. Let's go. Five days for the Clint. I'm also considering something right now. It's a thing that we should do, actually. Uh, first of all, we take a look at our barracks, but then I'm going to talk about what I had in mind here. Sadly, still no ace pilot for swipe. What about the other guys? What about Decker? Decker can finally get Master Tactician. That's really good. Okay, at that point, we can start building piloting on him. 
So, remove one bar of stability when reserving. Two resolve gain, minus 50% crits, and plus one to initiative and tactic rolls. The initiative is crucial here because I want him to punch people early. That's good. Um, ice tray. Six gunnery. That's it. Yeah, we have to. We have to wait for that. The six gunnery is really good, and then we start building guts to six so that we get the. Uh, no, wait, to five. Right, the heat generation reduction by 5%, that's really handy. And then uh, we start building tactics to 6, and then uh, we can keep going from there as much as we want, like, depending on what we want. So that's usually my, my build here that I'm doing. I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> okay, okay, I got carried away. I wanted to say something. Um, it was probably very interesting. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 here, here it is. Uh, I think I go for the money here, in this battle, just because I want another Aqua upgrade. That is it. And goddamn, I hope that I find a big energy weapon soon for the Hatchet Man. I know a bunch of you are triggered by the Hatchet Man having that little triangle there, but, you know, it still performs. It still does what it is supposed to do, which is punching people. So, yeah, it's not a shooty mech at all. It could be, but... The hatchet man guys i want to make it like my main melee mech and therefore i'd happily go under tonnage and have all of my melee equipment in there uh instead of having that auto cannon in there and not enough uh weight for the melee equipment so gotta play towards your strength and not mitigate your weaknesses that's it so battle one skull it could be that we are finding medium mechs already here yeah. but and again, we're going for the money because I want my Argo upgrade as well. And that's the thing. Why? I mean, yes, I do. I do want my upgrade. I'm just contemplating. I could also try to make a playthrough happen with just, just purely and only going for maximum salvage. And taking every single mech part that I can get. Not bothering with any equipment available. Just taking mech parts all the time. Trying to get as many mechs as possible. Scrapping all of them that I don't need. And getting the, the salvage out of the mechs instead. I wonder if that was a viable strategy. What's up, boss? That could be something, actually. Off. Huh. I don't, want, I don't know if I want to play it like this. Because, you know, I'm looking for specific components. Uh... At some point. But it would be interesting to see a playthrough like that. When somebody is forced to just pick mech parts all the time. And only if there are no mech parts available anymore, then you are allowed to uh, pick some other stuff that you want or that you need. Uh, do I get down here? From here? Alrighty. Oh, enemy reinforcements right away. Alrighty. Copy that. There's the Blackjack. How's There's Omega with all the weapon systems in the world. Now having a double heatsink here. Consider me there. Still no sensors. Waiting on you, Commander. That's worrisome here. I leap. I you leap, you soar, and you are braced. Where are they? They see me. I don't see them. That's the problem. Hello? Enemies! There you are! Ow! Don't shoot me with your AC2. Ouchie, that hurt a little bit. Alright, the problem is that Decker is so far away. Jumping. Ah, there we go. Mando, give me a sec. Firestarter, Jenner, Urban Mech. Urban Mech. Okay, so far so good. It's the only target. Nice shot, Mr. Decker. Nice shot. Alrighty. Yeah, we're gonna get close here. We have to. We have to get somewhat point blank. Do I want to put my Clint up there? Let's put him in here. He, he has, you know, he's not real, no, no mechanical cover, but like he is no line of sight to the enemies. That's a really good hit chance. Oh, this thing is so good. And look at the heat. It's definitely good. manageable. I like my Clint now. Pretty cool. Wow, that was fast. 
That was the fire starter. I hear you. Um. You betcha. That should be a kill. There we go. First enemy down. And we were coming for the money anyway, so we can just kill our one enemy at a time. Just one after another. <laughs> I have no idea what their battle plan is, but it, I think it includes running around like crazy. With their arms flailing. <laughs> Alright, let's shoot the Tanner. It's the highest hit chance here. Just spamming them with the lasers and the auto cannons. What the hell was that? Why did you target the building? What? What can I do for you? Did you drop minefields here? No. What, what? Why? Uh, I'm baffled. Uh, okay, let's go for the left side. You know what? I'm gonna go for the left side first. I will completely ignore the guys on the right side. Trying to drop the urban mix first. Oh wait, what's that? It's a new urban mix chassis that I don't know. All support weapons. I'm scared. Uh, also best hit chance, so... We'll try to take him. I see oil, I yeah. see... Fluid. Uh, okay. Yes, Commander. Seems to be a very fluid urban mech. Uh, you can uh, reserve here. Aha, look at that. Getting rid of a bar of stability damage. Ta-da! Master Tactician! Hey Alright. Why do we not hit him? Or why are we having such a bad hit chance on everything? Full speed, no target. I don't know. Sometimes it adjusts itself later. Alright, hip destroyed, foot destroyed. It's fine. And he's unsteady. Okie dokie. Firestarter Jenner A. What was the A variant? <laughs> Again, their battle plan is, as I was saying, running around in circles. Lailing with their arms. Mm, okay. So, since the guy is unsteady, I want to see if I can shoot him with my blackjack. And I can. On the move. Let's go. AC2. Him I've got. Not enough, sadly. Negative damage. It's crazy that my Uziel was so accurate. I mean, it has the streaks and the medium pulse laser. It is our designated light mech hunter. Uh, but, however, the other ones, Proceed. shooting a, an unsteady target... I was expecting more, to be honest. Alright, maybe Decker can do it. I copy. Still not? Wow. Negative damage. Repeat. Four hit Negative chances damage. over 50% and none of them hit. Ow. 18 damage. We'll take it, no problem. Is that it? I'm barely scratched. Here's the other guy, also dealing 16 damage and now the fluid guns are coming in, right? How many do you have there? Uh huh. That's a crazy urban mech. Good to go. Ah, here we go. Did we kill the Jenner? Yes. We try. Seventy-seven percent. It is something. Ah, that's a primitive Jenner. Large laser minus and two mediums. That was the primitive Jenner, so we don't have to be afraid of him so much. Okie dokie. This R59, I don't trust him at all. So we're gonna destroy him. Oh, he was running a mortar. Alrighty. No, not anymore though, because he's dead. Omega. Um, it's not really scary, is it? No. Uh, I want to shoot this guy. Can I? Thank you. Okay. So, we'll sprint in here. We'll... Uh, we'll like that. On my way, Maybe no knocking way. him down. But also, I need to check that my medium lasers are a little bit too hot here. I'll shoot the PA lasers. Alright, we have the knockdown. We have him stressed. And that's a Jenner on the ground. Pretty good. Yes, Commander. That means that if Ice Tray can do a headshot, if he can get it off... We'll have the Jenner. I mean, that will do it. Okay. Guys, I have a feeling that my Lance is getting really good. Uh, 
Uh, let's go for a punch. Location sure. Confirmed. That's the thing that the Clint can do at any time. That's a cool thing. <laughs> Funnily enough, the missiles we have flying from the outskirts here from here. Alright. Daddy. Do them. In the back. Move order received. Kill them. Confirmed. Engine destroyed. Urban mech down. One less target. We gotta go for higher scale missions next. It's it's gonna be. It's gonna be done. What can I do for you? Question is, where did the fire starter go? Got it. Back Found him. No shooting. Found him. Tell me what to shoot. Alright. That's the cool thing, the streaks only shoot when they actually can hit their target and then they shoot all of their missiles. So, it is a hit or miss thing. But if it doesn't shoot, if it cannot get a clear lock onto the target, you conserve the ammo. That's extremely interesting. Uh, we'll shoot that. Okay. So, Firestarter, what's your plan? Don't run away. So weird. Is that is that some kind of next level strategy that you're doing there? Is that what they what they tell you in, in the academy these days? Just run around distracting the enemy? I mean some people might fall for it. Some people might might try to hunt the chicken, but what is it supposed to do here? Seriously. What I need on the Clint, by the way, is either Inferno or Acid Ammo. Actually, Acid Ammo. That would help us a lot. Uh, hello? Can you please stop running? Do me the favor and just stop it. All are go. Eh, not quite. What's up, boss? Nice tray. No line of sight. Come on. Um, we'll do it from here. On my way. Taking the shot. Another 36 damage, and we have structure exposed. Decker closing in now. Ooh, going down. in his back. Perfect. More damage! Hell yeah! Yes, and the Clint. Trying to follow up as well. I gotta say, I was super unhappy with my Clint early on. But now? I actually like it. I really do. On okay. I think we have him knocked down. Perfect. Kapow. So he won't run anymore. Swipe! Hello! Go for the legs! Mm-hmm. There's a lot of critical damage. He is down to one health. And now the question is, what's he gonna do? We have... Wait, that guy had a lot, lot, lot of weapon systems. And I think there were some machine guns included. As well as flamers. Oh. Okay. Ready for orders. Go, Decker. Position confirmed. And that's a kill. Nice hit. Alrighty. Cool, we got 500 more, 500,000 more Seabills. That means that we can issue the next Argo upgrade. And I think it's gonna be one of the recreational ones. Um, just to get some more morale and get some more tech points online. I think the tech points are kind of crucial as soon as we go for more difficult missions. Because then we'll, we'll get more return damage and that damage needs to be repaired quicker. That's the thing. So... Yeah, also third mech bay would be amazing, but for that we had to repair the power conduits more, we had to get more structural upgrades. Actually, the third mech bay is more important than any of that, that I just told you. Yeah. So... Our uh, <laughs> heatsink price, yay! 100,000 Siebel value, great. But yeah guys, that's it for today. That has been your episode of Rogue Take. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is a link to my Patreon page. Or you can become a channel member here, getting some early access whenever I have some videos online for you. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.